and uh, and real quick, how's it going, fellas? It's going well. And you are Ryan. I am ringside Ryan Andrews. All right, ringside. Before we talk about these guys, we got to toss it back. When we come back, you're going to introduce us to all these bad guys. Look at this. Just real quick. Look at this guy. I mean, I'm not even. Look at me. This guy will bite my fingers off. Check it out. How you doing, pal? All right, that's all I'm doing. All right, when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna get to know the players, and then we're gonna actually see what these guys can do. And then there's Dan and everything, and Nikita, and it, what else can I say? I'm very elated to be here, Jeff and Laura. Yeah. yeah. Was that Hannibal the Cannibal? Who was that? I don't that know. Mask? I don't know. I'm glad it's him there, not me. Hi, Nikita. How are you? Good. How are you? Listen, you are uh, now here. You're the only female wrestler this morning. But yeah. let me. I mean, you're you're not unattractive. Let me say that. And, and let me ask you this, how did you get in the business? How did I get in the business? Actually, one of my friends wanted me to be a valet, and I just thought it was a lot more fun to kick guys' butts. Well, there you go. And also, you're in great shape, so obviously you work out a lot. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm a personal trainer, and I'm also a fitness model. Now, I was talking to Dan. He said the, the, one, the reason why most girls don't get into it is because they don't like the bumps. But it, you don't mind getting roughed up. I really, I really don't mind the impact after a while, after you take it through the first week. It's not too bad. Just as long as you keep practicing the bumps, you should have no problem with it. You're tougher than I am. Okay, now you're going to practice a move right now, right? Right. It's now, come the Frankenstein. The Frankenstein. All right, let's come on over here and watch Nikita and, and Doobie. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Zoom. I ran right into my photographer and uh, Doobie. They're going to do a little practice. Now we're talking to Ringside Ryan here. Now Ringside, what are they going to be practicing here? It's Frankenstein, or in Japan, it would be called the Hurricane Rana. Essentially, there's different ways to get into it. Boot is going to power bomb her up so she gets into the position. She's going to go like a backwards arch through, grasping her head, uh, her legs around his head, flipping him over, keeping a hold, and dr dr you know just drilling his head into the ground. Now, rings now the Ringside, let me ask you, and you guys can go ahead and zoom. Shoot you. Let me ask you, I mean, this takes like a lot of training. You just don't just decide to do this and do it. No, oh, my goodness, no. look at that. It takes a lot of work. I mean, it's not oh. like you're going to hit your first time. you got to practice it over and over. Repetitive, I mean, repetition is definitely key. You now try it once. Now, what kind of, what, can you guys do it one more time? What kind of training, what kind of training is involved in something like this? I mean, what, what's the workout? actually do a stunt like this it's, it's knowing all the bumps so you know we're teaching you all the bumps of getting accustomed to falling on the mat getting accustomed for him you know taking oh, that head bump and rolling through uh, and just you know the getting used to the impact the actual motion and breaking it down into the fundamental st if you want to look over into the ring we're gonna go, you know that was the basic version here's an advanced version okay hold on come on let's go fellas don't do he's gonna get like zoom and get a shot of this over here and these guys are gonna do it like uh, oh my gosh okay Ryan tell us what's going on Dreamer's got, Dreamer's got Jenna set up in the corner. Dreamer's beating on him a little bit, you know, and he wants to set it up. And instead of doing it on the mat from a standing position or from that power bomb up, Dreamer just jumps on up. Okay, fellas. And there it goes. One of the hardest moves to do in wrestling. All right. Big impact on both guys. Thanks. Oh, my God. Okay, there you go, guys. I'm telling you, this is going to be the NFL. Can you imagine uh, John Elway doing something like this? No way. Not a chance. I challenge John Elway to come down here. Come down to Slam City, John. And I'm going to check you out in Slam City. That's right, Mr. Elway. You think you're tough throwing your football in the ring. I don't think so. Come on down to Slam City, and I'll make mincemeat out of you, Mr. Elway. Hey, wait a minute. Dan, you got to tell John Elway the address. I mean, what how's just, he supposed to know where to go? And yeah, what, 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 what was that, Dan? I don't know. What was that? I got, I got, what did I have, Danny? I had wrestling fever. I'd just been bitten by the bug. It's your alter ego is what I'm, it is. I'm, fr I'm frightened right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a uh, club for that. All right, John <laughs> Elway, if you're out there, <laughs> East Hampton right there. Check it out, New Orleans. Uh -huh. You can take on Dan DeRue. Scary. Uh, uh, Dan, get into the ring with the woman down there, and I want to <laughs> know who ended up winning that match, Dan. What's that? I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm just working out here. What's that? <laughs> who ended up winning that match between you and the uh, gal in the blue? Uh, we had one, and she kicked my tail end. So, yeah, uh, that's what that's I thought. That's what we were afraid of. Yeah, no. That was off camera, and we don't have any tape of that, so sorry. That's a hey. good thing. <laughs> you say that again. <laughs> we're at Slam City in Aurora. It's the only pro wrestling school uh, in the state of Colorado. I mean, there's some backyard sure. places. Thank you there, ringside. Oh, yeah. Uh, but this is the legitimate place to come and learn to be a professional wrestler. Now, uh, we're gonna, now, now we're going to talk about some wrestling techniques revealed, uh, like props and things but they're props but they're very very real now when you think of professional wrestling you think of the chair you definitely think of the chair and the chair is real it's a real chair. let's see this thing this is real now check this out Jeff Lauren everybody this is that's a chair it's not plastic it's not it's fake 
So again, you cannot do this at home because you'll probably wind up killing somebody because ringside there are techniques. There's definitely techniques, and especially if we're, if we're using weapons and we're using props, you're not going to do that till your advanced stages of training. It's not something you're going to come in on your first week and get whacked with the chair. It's going to take months. And you're not really hitting somebody. Now this, for example, is this a special... Is that a real stick? When we want to get people mad, we just pop them. Now see that? Did you see... Oh, 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 oh my God, I think they're actually... All right, now hold on. We, we, we just... We just had a little premature. All right, I can watch this. Here they go. They're, they're doing it. They're demonstrating. They're demonstrating right now. Check this. Oh my lord. That's not. That's not a fake board. That's that's wood. Let's... Now what did we? Now, now Dan, what did we just see here? We just saw him go through a table. Now that's a real wood. Now check that's this out. Real wood. This is. That's real that's particle right. board. Now, that's right. Now tell me, how do these guys do it without getting hurt? They just practice, and you got to be willing to do it. I mean, it's a lot like stuntmen. That's right, stuntmen. It hurts. Now, let's talk to one of those. Okay, big fella, I'm approaching you. Please do not swing. How you doing? And your name again? Shockley. Now, now tell me, how do you? Do, how long did it take you to do this? I mean, did you ever do something like this and then get hurt? Oh, uh, yeah, sometimes you get hurt, but it takes practice and practice. I mean, like three months or so before you even think Three months something. before you even do it. Now, let me ask you, what's your worst injury? Uh, chest being spread apart by the power bomb. Oh. Your chest yep. got spread apart, and there was like a sprain? Yeah. And that's it? That's it. All right, Jeff and Laura, please do not attempt this at home. Uh, that's all I'm going to I'm going to get out of here before these guys whack me. Believe me, I know Jeff would like to see that. <laughs> we <laughs> Jeff won't would try this, this at home. It's Jeff, a promise. Jeff would like to see that, but it's not going to happen, okay? Is he going to whack him? Wait a minute. What's going to happen? Uh-oh. No, oh! oh! See, that's what's going to happen. Thank you very much. I'm standing by the woods, and she's protecting me. Hey, Dan. Dan, yes. we have a surprise for you. Hey! What? Yeah. What? What? Can, can you see a TV? Can I see a TV? Yeah, no, get, I'm in get, pain. I get, can't see a TV. Get near a TV now, please. Get near a TV. Yeah, please. I, near I think Dan was lying yeah. to us. Yeah, watch the show. We need to show you something. It's I can't very important. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I can't. All yeah, right, I but, I like all right. do you remember when you told us we didn't have video of that, um, that gal beating you up there? Yes. Well, we do. We're showing it. Oh, you are right now? Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at the headlock, the takedown. One, two, three, you're out. All right, do it. Go. Okay. You're out. Look at that. Dan was no competition at all. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you were pretty much enjoying that. How, I, what was it like? I, I can't tell you on camera. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. He even got his eyes gouged, too, you know? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> all right, Dan, thanks. You know, if you're looking for a companion, we've got... What's that? What do I think? What? We got shoes on. You see our shoes? Hiking boots. Yeah. Oh, I love those. Aren't they, look, they pretty? Oh, look, they look great on you. They look <laughs> so you. cute. Yes. <laughs> hey, Jeff Lowe, we're at Slam City Pro Wrestling School talking to Ringside Ryan. Ringside, now, if someone wants to become a professional wrestler and they want to come to your school, uh, what are your hours and all that stuff? We train Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. and Saturdays and Sundays from 5 to 7. If you want to get the number, call up information, we're listed. Now, what about the big show coming up this Friday? It's a really big show. Show. Friday, St. Patty's Day Massacre. About 10 matches on the card. Heavyweight Championship is up for grabs at the Ozitlon. And you can catch more info. You can get directions there. Info on the card at www.ringsideryan.com. Where can people get tickets? People can get tickets through Ticketmaster or at the Ozitlon box office uh, about an hour and a half before the show. So if you get there about 7 o'clock on Friday. And it should be a full house. It should be a full house. It's looking to sell out. So if you want to get tickets, go ahead and get there early and pick them up. Now, everybody we saw here will be there Friday night? Yes, they will. They'll all be in matches. They'll all be getting involved. And they'll be slamming each other hard. Now, Ringside Ryan, one more time, that uh, website address. www.ringsideryan.com. Dot com. Now, ringside, what are we going to see here, the grand finale? We're going to see mass chaos and pandemonium running wild. And let's get it underway right now as Genocide has Dreamer up. Oh, my God, top rope. Genobon sends him down hard. Shockwave with a shot to Buddha. Buddha's up on the shoulders. What does Shockwave have here? Oh, a Shockwave driver. Genocide pulling Dreamer into the corner, setting Dreamer. him up. I guess Magnum Man wants to get involved. I don't like this guy one bit, the Magnum Man. He's got his family. You know something? I, I hate to say it. It looks like he's going to take out my partner, Dreamer, right here. If you don't mind, Dan, I'm going to go take care of some business. Go, oh, my Lord. Go get him, ringside. I'm not right, ringside. As ringside Ryan is taking uh, Dan May. Uh oh Oh, that's got to hurt. Uh oh here comes Nikita to the rescue. Check it out, Nikita. Oh, my goodness. Be careful, ringside Ryan. Oh, wow, look at that. She just got... She just took care of that right away, and Dan's picking up. Now Ringside's coming in, and he's going for Nikita. He's going. He's challenging her. Oh, she is Dan.
Bodyguard, she's going to take care of the whole situation right now. She's challenging ringside right now. Ringside's on ringside. He's chickening out, I think. Is he? Is he chickening out? Oh, my Lord, I think he is. Who could resist the powers of Nikita? I am losing my skull. Are you ready to rumble? Jump and Laura, back to you. <laughs> Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday, so. Friday, Friday, this St. Valentine's Day Massacre. <laughs> I never did like leprechauns anyway. <laughs> I think he's got another career <laughs> working. Oh, One last.